so that's how I took my virginity back. You got it? Yeah. You snagged? I found it. Where was it? Lost. (laughs) Was it in the lost and found? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, hey, I lost my virginity. And they were like, uh... Okay, I mean, cool. I was like, no, no, like, I... I can't find it. Like, I misplaced it. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, hey, I want it back. Yeah. They were like, oh... Uh. Well, you can check. <laughs> Where I was, was like, this? Right, oh, I think I see it actually. That, oh yeah, right of yeah. that that pink one. That's mine. And they're like, okay, uh, you can have it then. So I put it back. Nice. Yeah. Uh, hi and welcome to the Tea Time Podcast. Uh, want you co-host Simon. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yes, you are. <laughs> it's Zach. <laughs> Uh, we got a good, uh, you know, half decent show for you guys tonight. That was What's good the as... other half? We lost it. I said, what is the other half? What is the other half? Not decent. Oh, right. Half bad. <laughs> is this a decent half? Maybe. Or mo- it's more like it's it, always like... half decent. Uh, like, okay. Oh, like, yeah. 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 You yeah. just wish you could exist off of like raviolis. Just ravioli. Yeah. I thought you guys say something completely different. No. No. Just raviolis. Just raviolis. Ravioli is kind of a like a versatile form of food. Mm-hmm. The the requirements of it are just like two pieces of pasta, flat, and something in between them. Yeah. And usually it's in like a small. Yeah, well, actually, I think the um, package. You know those like weird frozen Smuckers things, like the peanut butter and jelly and the bread. Yeah, the, the, those uh, are considered ravioli. I guess so. Get well, on the Wikipedia page. Really? Yeah. It's ravioli. <laughs> so then it's not even pasta. It's what? It's just that sort of dough, like, maybe. I I think it's pot. It's pasta. It's pasta. They're, it's they're not. Just you can't do yeah. bread. No, no, it's pasta. So, but you can like. No, I just mean like I don't. I don't even mean like switching it up. Like no variety. I just j- mean just like meat or like ravi. Like you clap your hands. Yeah. And you have a ravioli in there. Just one. I mean, you can do it. You can clap again <laughs> and have another one. What kind of ravioli is it? Are we talking like a cheese? You can meat? switch it up. Yeah. 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 How do you change the settings? You just like say it out loud and be like, uh, I want to. Uh, meat, beef, beef, uh, ruvulu, ruvulu, uh, and they and it, it appears. I don't think I could do it. No, really. If mm. it was the only thing that I I could eat like forever mm-hmm. until I the day I die. So you can well you can the be day like, I die was probably a little sooner. <laughs> you can be like, all right, I want a, I want ravioli with salad in it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's big, and I take off the ravioli. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you're playing the system here. Right. I get you. Uh, uh, maybe, if, like, yeah. If, if there it, was a food you could live off of, what is forever? it? Forever? Uh, probably pie. Pie? Yeah. Pie is a very, like, general, like, yeah. you know. Like it, it's sort of like a sandwich or a salad. Mm-hmm. Just it's. I'd say sandwich. You say sandwich. Yeah. It, is taco included in a sandwich? No. No. Then I don't it, play it, those goddamn games. A taco's a taco. The a sandwich is a sandwich. What about a hot dog? No, it's a goddamn hot dog. What if the hot dog? It, it's a. What if it's a hot dog, but instead of a bun, it's a piece of white bread because you can't afford hot dog buns. I have done that before. <laughs> I have I have most definitely done that before. We probably had hot dog buns. Yeah. Okay. It was either it was I just either imagine you like, like looking like in the bread cabinet is like, I could choose those <laughs> hot dog buns, but I'm uh, not gonna do it. Uh, but you know what I want instead? It's it was I don't remember exactly. It was probably we had bought too many hot dogs uh-huh. and not enough buns, so we had mm. like one or two left over. Yeah, and I was like, "Well, I'm not just gonna waste it. eat like not eat them. Yeah. They're looking at me. Or like go to the or, store, like, like just <laughs> throw them on the plate with some ketchup. I don't play that bullshit. No, if you're gonna eat a hot dog, you it's either a corn dog or it has a bun. 
Yeah, or it's like in in a <sighs> like those like little tiny yeah. uh hot dogs and like the like a uh, little That's pastries. a last choice. For me. Oh, like pigs in a blanket. Yeah. Okay, I will go hard on on pigs in a blanket. I love pigs in a blanket. I haven't had them in like a long time. I usually get them like Yeah. Uh I usually get them like at Thanksgiving around then. Mhm. My uh one of my family members like aunts or whatever makes yeah. it. But the, occasionally they get like a gross oh. hot dog. Mm-hmm. And it, it just ruins just the whole not, pig in the blanket. Yeah. Or if the the croissant the is cro- is too sweet, croissant? then it's weird. Every time, anytime <laughs> someone says croissant, I just think of uh, is it Carl? Croissant, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy no, John. yeah, Carl. Jimmy Coon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. Let's say you can clap, yeah, and you just keep separating your hands until yeah. the f- until it's big enough to hold whatever food you want. Okay, you're like watermelon, Whomp. yeah, and hmm. that'd be that would that would, that'd yeah. be pretty cool. That yeah. would be a good superpower. It would be because yeah. you could literally survive anywhere on Earth. Yeah, but here's the thing: where are you getting that matter? Are you exerting your own energy? To create that food, or is it more like a pocket dimension that you're siphoning energy from? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's whatever. It's just magic. If I if I got a superpower like <laughs> yeah. that, or like my D and D character was able to do that, I wouldn't mm-hmm. be like, now how am I? Is this ethical? <laughs> like, I just don't like, want oh, it shit. to be like you're you're wasting your own energy to like make. Nana gonna be on the podcast. Hey Nana. You left your phone charger, it's fine, I got like three. Do you have another one? Yeah, I got a good couple. Okay. I'll put it up there beside your keychain, okay? Alright, thanks. You are you're, uh, you're on the podcast right now. Do you wanna say anything? Uh, I love you boys. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too, Nana. Love you too. Bye. Bye. She just wants to flex her love for us <laughs> on this podcast. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Snake, he, he shedded it again. He did. He shedded he did it. He did it. Second time. He shedded it again. He's only done it twice. I don't think that was there when I came in. Mm-mm. I did not see it. I didn't either. I mean, I, did didn't, do I it? didn't look. He must have done it fast. Cause I like looked in there for him. It's pretty yeah. big and obvious. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know how I would have missed it. Man, he just really squeezed on out of there, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. Would you? Would now you he's like looking to at me. Shed your skin. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Hell 100%. yeah. Hundred percent. I I wouldn't want it to be like uncomfortable if I didn't. Yeah. I just want to be able to when I feel like it. That's understandable. Yeah. Cause like long hard day. Yeah. And like go through the whole like routine. Like, like take a shower, kind of broken, change your like, sheets. Like crusty, and you're just like just ugh. dirty, sweaty. Yeah. Like change your sheets, take a shower. Yeah. Just just slide out, yeah. and then like whole skincare routine. Yeah. That would be so relieving. And like afterwards, you got that like. That shiny skin. Yeah. That, like, baby newborn skin. No hair, though. You don't have any hair? Not on your n- new skin. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like it'd be kind of tough, but, like, it'd sort of be like, uh, how do I put it? How about no acne? Or just, all, like, all the acne comes out because you're removing the top layer of skin. Yeah, or, like, blemishes and all that. Yeah, so, like... Well, like all the like the the pus, just like as Ew, you're gross. uh getting your skin off, it just like sort of starts to fall down your face. Ew, God, I wasn't thinking about it like that. Uh, or more is is that more like a surface level thing? That's that's a deeper thing. Yeah, so I'm just fall. talking like just surface, like first, top layer skin, top yeah. layer. Well, I mean, I don't know. It's harder for us. I don't know a whole lot about snake skin. Yeah, because relatively, like, the size of our skin mm-hmm. is, you know, kind of the same as theirs. But since they're so much smaller, he's looking it's, at me. it's different. 
think he knows we're talking about him. Yeah. Yeah. Just... I, uh, the other day I was, uh, at like a family get together and, uh, this corresponds to what you just said. Mm -hmm. Uh, and me and my youngest brother, Owen, we mm -hmm. were like, all right, who, who's stronger? And it was like, all right, let's do arm wrestle. So mm -hmm. we did arm wrestle. He beat me because he's been working out like daily. And wow. I haven't. Uh, and I was like, all right, uh, who's faster? And then we had a race and I won. Uh, but we were really out of breath. Yeah. Uh, I was like, oh, dang. My ears are really oh. hot because I've been running so much. He's coming. He's coming. <laughs> uh, and I saw there was like, you know, that means that someone's talking about you right now. I was like, yeah. what? I didn't know. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. And then uh, Owen says, uh, Owen said like, oh, it's not much. Not many people must be talking about me. And, and then everyone laughed. And I was like, and then I was oh oh, <laughs> but then I won it up. What uh, one up to? Yeah, one up to him. One did up. One <laughs> did up. Uh, I won up to him by uh saying, uh, people must be thinking about me at really weird times then. Like, is implying that my ears get hot as some. A weird time. Yeah, like oh. mid, like mid at night. Oh. Yeah. That's sort of like light. So I'm over there thinking about you. <laughs> I was like, dang, my ears are really hot. And you're like, <laughs> Simon's ears are hot. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. 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 But do you think his. Well, he doesn't really have ears. No, he does. Yeah. They're just holes. They're not. Do you th external. Can they get hot? Can his holes get hot? Probably. His ear holes? If I blew on it. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's the hot one. Yeah. How, what's the difference between, like, blowing, like, cold air versus hot air? Yeah, like, what? How, how does that... Because you know how to do it. You go, like, for hot air. Yeah. You go, for cold air. Yeah. Now, now, I, because I'm thinking about it, I'm yeah. gonna tell a quick little story here. Uh, yeah, just when I was in elementary school, uh huh. Uh, we were in the lunchroom. Mm -hmm. Um, I and, remember that lunchroom. And I look over, yeah. and you were blowing on something, but you weren't <laughs> doing the. You were yeah. doing the. You were doing that one, so you like held it up really close to your mouth, and you're going. And I was like, what <laughs> the fuck is this kid doing? I don't remember that. And the teacher looked at you like the same way, like, what the fuck is he doing? And she was like, is it hot? And you're like, yeah. And, <laughs> you, kept, and you kept doing it. It was really weird. That's my earliest memory of you. Yeah? Mm -hmm. No. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. They're all kind of muddled yeah, in there. Yeah, somewhere. You know, it's elementary school. You just sort of lump it all. It's pretty weird, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very Simon Core. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if nobody told me any different, I'd be doing that today. Hey, why is a snake looking at me so weird? Like he just stuck his neck out and he's like... I don't know. Maybe. That would be like me laying across your desk, just staring <laughs> at you. Is that the equivalent of that, would yeah. you say? He's being weird. That's fine, though. Yeah. I'm trying to think of my earliest memory of you. Like, it's nothing's come to my mind. I do, obviously, there's, like, the one that we told during the Valentine's Day episode mm -hmm. of, like, uh, second grade, uh, where, like, we, uh, oh, you, yeah. you know, you're yeah. going to have to watch that episode. Yeah, to go watch cold. the Valentine's episode. Yeah, it's pretty great. Ella's on it. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Um... But I, I can't quite remember if, like, I have a memory of, like, me sitting on, like, one of those playground equipments. It was the one with, like, the red circles, and you, like, walked from, like, like they had a pole in between them, in, like, in the center of the circle. Mm -hmm. Like, sort of cylinder, and then, like, a pole. And you climbed uh, from one circle to the next, holding onto the poles. Do mm -hmm. you remember that? Vaguely. Yeah. I was sitting on top of that, because I figured out how to climb it, and I was just watching mm -hmm. people... I remember watching you 
like run around with someone and you or they were just talking with you. I was like, oh yeah, and that was that. that oh <laughs> really? Yeah. Weird. Yeah. I also he cocked his head at me. I'm really just captivated by the snake right now. He's moving around and doing weird stuff. Now he's smelling the leaf. Uh, I also remember in gym one time, I was like sitting on this shitty little like pole thing. It was like it was like a pole, mm-hmm. but they just turned it on its side and stuck two legs on it and called it a bench. Oh yeah, I vaguely remember. They were that. like super uncomfortable. It was literally just a rectangular pole. Yeah, and you just sat on barely it, barely wide enough for a child's ass to sit on. <laughs> yeah. And I was on it, and I looked down, and you were like under it and like behind me, <laughs> <laughs> and you're just looking at me. <laughs> like by then, by then I knew you, so it wasn't like that weird or anything. <laughs> That's still very Simon Core. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, like it wasn't like I knew you by then, so uh, it wasn't like out of place, I guess. Um, I do remember like in our gym, like uh, occasionally like like building with those giant Legos instead of like doing gym activities. Mm-hmm. Do you remember those? No. No, you don't. No. They were like, oh, what were they like? Not Legos, but like the kids Legos, like the huge ones. No, I don't remember that. You don't? No. Hmm. I do remember we used to have dance parties in there. Like Did you, we? okay. So you remember how like the Fridays? I think it was like Friday. We'd have like free days or whatever, and there would be like different stations of stuff you could do, and they'd have the rolly things. Oh, those rolly things! And then they had like basketball and then, like yeah. other shit. Yeah. And there was like one corner was like laid out a mat, and you could like dance and shit. <laughs> I don't remember that. Yeah. I remember, I think that was also with the Lego th- stuff, because I was always over there with, like, uh, another friend of mine. Why was... do I remember, like, the layout of that gym so well? Yeah. Because it was, like... It's like, the back corner. Yeah, the back corner. It was shaped weird. Yeah. I was always over there, like, dancing my ass off. <laughs> I I loved those, uh like, little little rolly things, like the squares. Oh, yeah. And, and the ones that you, like, moved... Uh, yeah. Uh, to oh, go forward. Yeah. Those two. And the uh, bouncy balls. Oh my god, the bouncy balls. I love those. <laughs> yeah. Of course, like, you try to do it nowadays and you it's just so... fall on your ass. Yeah. Or, like, you don't go anywhere. You just, like, sort of, if, if you try to, you're just so heavy that it's just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I loved, like, interlocking those, like, uh, little rolly things and, like, getting a whole bunch and, like, laying down. Yeah. And, like, crawling, uh, like, really fast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, until you ran over your finger. And then that was it. You were out for the rest of the day. <laughs> You're just like laying there crying. And the coach is like, alright. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember... I don't even remember how I did it. Yeah? But there was like a... It was some reward. Maybe it's for like AR or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But it was like oh you could, dang AR, those were the fucking day. Yeah, I AR would reading max tests. that shit out. Yeah, man, I was like, I I remember I uh, found like one book series that like gave you a lot for like reading a little. Yeah, uh, I think it was like, uh, and I quite liked them. It was what was it? Uh, Hank the cow dog. Oh shit! I yeah, those, those are so good. Yeah, I got them on like I think I still have like the audio tapes of them. Hell yeah! Yeah, like in in. Uh, the spare room at my dad's house. I, uh, I, I thought I was the shit because I was like, I loved to read as a kid mm-hmm. and I learned kind of early because both my parents loved to read too. And, uh, and so like in kindergarten, I was reading stuff that wouldn't be on the, that part of the school's computers. So mm-hmm. they would have to take me to like the older kids side so I could AR test down there. Dang. <laughs> and uh and I won something mm-hmm. and it was like, oh, you can be an assistant to one of the to, like any teacher you want. And I was mm-hmm. like, hell yeah. Yeah. For some reason I chose the gym teacher. <laughs> and um it was during the special ed uh class mm-hmm. and like I just like 
threw a ball to this one girl like the whole time and That's that was it, it. Hmm. and i was looking around like is there like something else i can be doing right now like i don't want to stand here for an hour mm -hmm. and so i like came back later for another class and they were doing like a track thing hmm. and so again all i could do was just like walk around on the track <laughs> it was the worst decision of my life dang and that's doing good at reading <laughs> yeah this is the worst trade deal in the history of trade deals it's very sad. where he where's he going where'd he go i don't know oh, he's climbing uh i'm trying to think of other stuff do you remember the maypole yes I remember the maple. I remember like the little flyers that uh, mm -hmm. everyone like got for it. Yeah, I remember being so jealous of the person that drew it. I was like, I I could do that. <laughs> uh, and but like I never applied myself to doing art yeah. back then. Besides like like little stuff that my dad wanted me to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, so like I nobody would have ever like even thought of me to do that because I never did art in school. Yeah. So I don't know why I thought, like, I mean, I was a kid, so that's probably why. Mm -hmm. uh, but, like, I guess it just logic wasn't in there yet for me to, like, realize, like, oh. I I have a very vivid memory of the maple. Yeah. Like, this is such a weird thing. So, okay, so for your people that don't know what a maple is. It's a, it's okay, a pole. Okay, so it's a pole, and there are, like, three or four different colored, like, pastel um ribbons. like ribbons yeah. that are tied around the top yeah and you got a group of little kids around <laughs> it <laughs> and little, like, the, like they stand in pairs uh, male and female and then they skip around <laughs> and they go under one ribbon and over another like holding the end of their ribbon and so it ties it up around the pole, like and if in you a do it right, fancy it way. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and to that school, the Maypole uh, was a big fucking deal. It was huge. So we would go out there and we would drill on that shit for like weeks oh, before we God. did it. And like it was a big deal for like the parents too. Like they got all the parents there. Yeah. And they were all just like sitting there. And I remember. And like, it was so fancy. It was. Yeah. It looked like a wedding. Yeah. Like yeah, everybody yeah. was wearing suits and the music. It yeah. Was and like, you're supposed to like. Uh, it was like Sunday best, pretty much. Yeah. Like, like, but a bit, little bit better. Like, you can't can't be wearing like jeans. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah. And I remember uh, being really embarrassed because, uh, as per usual, I'm wearing like pants that are just a little bit too big, <laughs> and I and I didn't know what a belt was when I was a kid, so I was like, oh god, this is gonna be like the worst day of my life. Oh, no. And I don't remember if like anything happened. To, like, I have a good memory of that. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. I had to do it again. Mm -hmm. I had to do it a second time in third grade. I'm probably sure I did too. Because they were like, because they, they, because it's a first grade thing. Is it? I thought it was a second grade thing. Or, I don't know. No, I think it was first grade. Because, hmm. well, either way, like, um, mm -hmm. you only do it one year. Yeah. But then, like, a couple years later. Yeah person in charge of it like found me in my class and was like hey come talk to me and they're like do you want to do the maypole again and i was like why i mean hell yeah but, but <laughs> hell why yeah. give me that maypole uh and i i don't remember why it was because like the class was too small or hmm. too dumb or something i don't know but i had to do it a second time and i towered over the first graders yeah. I, I was only there, a couple there was years like older a couple kids in the maple that were like obviously older yeah yeah was, and it, like on a, i felt so like out of place <laughs> it was weird especially if when i had to go under no. i had to like crawl on the <laughs> ground because they just couldn't lift it over me i do remember i misremembered that i did that it was more me remembering you watching you do that because it was like the whole school went out there and saw it as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, weird. So, like, everyone was there, like, including the parents of everyone. Huh. So, like, and we would watch, like, uh, like everyone else do it. Hmm. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure you could opt out of it, but my grandpa probably made me go. Yeah. My parents, uh, my dad always talks about, um, <laughs> We did a play. <laughs> Yawns and then smacks himself in the face. 
we did a play mm-hmm. and you were dressed in like a oh no the different one dog costume or something i don't remember this one all i remember was a crayon play about diversity. yeah about black history month yeah. that our like first grade teacher used up most of the school's budget <laughs> on yeah. like i don't know how she was allowed to do that but um fucking you were dressed in some costume and my dad always remembers like helping you into it and out of it because i guess they volunteered for that play or whatever um and he always mentions that (laughs) (laughs) like any any time it was like oh yeah i'm going over simon's remember that time that (laughs) i helped him in in that costume i was like yeah yeah all right well bye bye. (laughs) all right i'm back from simon's hey is that the one that i Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, yeah. I only remember doing like the being a crayon, cause that was indigo. Oh, I think it was a Christmas play, because hmm. I had to read a whole ass speech. I don't know why they loved me in elementary school. Yeah, like I don't know, maybe it was the Hawaiian shirts, because <laughs> that's like what I wore exclusively. Mm. I need a very specific outfit. It's dang. Never mind. I was gonna say like it changed up a good bit, but it really hasn't. <laughs> I mean, shit. I'm back to Hawaiian shirts. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but like I went through my cargo shorts and white socks <laughs> middle school days. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it was always for me with the occasional like uh, uh, what what are they called? Socks. <laughs> no, no. It was. It's like pants but they go overalls that's what they are overalls i blanked on overalls oh but uh it was always like uh blue jeans or or shorts sometimes blue sh- uh, like jorts but like they were <laughs> to the knee so they weren't like booty shorts dang you really do got knuckles on your toes yeah i do <laughs> that but, looks like a hand sorry not to I, call you out but i could just pick up a mug with my uh i like it looked like how a gorilla like <laughs> sits on their hands like that yeah yeah he's just shorts t-shirt but like sometimes the shorts were a bit big so i had to mm-hmm. wear a belt and the t-shirt was like a bit too small so you could just see my belt <laughs> yeah uh, and then like that's a very shirts. simon look <laughs> Amazing. You should patent that look. <laughs> Sell it as a Halloween costume. T-shirt that's costume. a bit too small so you can see the belt. Amazing. Mm-hmm. And then middle school, it's basically the same thing except, a, you know, shorts for blue jeans and then a hoodie on top of that. Mm-hmm. I was, like I said, cargo shorts and polo shirts and uh, button downs for mm-hmm. some reason. Yeah. Rarely t-shirts. Yeah. That was more early high school. <laughs> yeah. T-shirts and blue jeans. T-shirts and blue jeans. Damn, That's I like, got lazy. Yeah. And then I was like, hang on a second. I uh-huh. need to actually look presentable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I never really went through, I guess, T-shirts and blue jeans, but I always had something on over that. Yeah. Always like a flannel or like a hoodie. You've been trained to be layered. Yeah. Just like it, it's in my blood. Yeah. I get it from my dad. The only layered I have is Hawaiian shirts, but that's fine. Because yeah, now good. it's a gay thing. Yeah. They fucking took Clone Wars off of Netflix. They did. To segue. I could feel that one dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, But yeah, they took Clone Wars off Netflix. If you don't know Clone Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars, you know. Everyone knows. If you don't know Star Wars, where have you been? Huh? Yeah. Where are you? I guess some sort of Mars planet. Because there are, you know, hundreds of those. Yeah, it was like a couple. But Clone Wars, the really good animated TV show. Thank you, Zach. I'll treasure that forever. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. Zach just picked up a hairpin off the floor and handed it to me with his foot. (laughs) (laughs) But didn't acknowledge it. Uh, but yeah, Clone Wars. <laughs> uh, we really enjoy the TV show. Uh-huh. It's pretty good. Uh, 
Is it Star Wars? It's Star Wars, man, and that's 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 our that's one of our things that we both really enjoy. I like it. Yeah. I I don't. I don't like the Star Trek versus Star Wars argument. No, they're very different. They're, they are. One's more fantasy. Yeah. Because yeah. Star Trek is good, like, the character mm-hmm. and, like, story. Yeah. And, like, political intrigue and stuff like that. Star Wars is all, like, action. Yeah. Like, that's its whole thing. Yeah. Action uh, and, and, and cool stuff. Yeah. CG. Yeah, and... and like amazing like practical effects practical effects Mm -hmm. pretty good cg yeah especially like for its time yeah the opening of episode three yeah like it amazes me that that was done back in the day that was really good yeah and it's not like cringy cg like you see now like it's still it's impressive it holds up yeah yeah like some of the characters are a bit like "Eh." Mm. but that scene though Mm -hmm. Mm. 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 uh and uh, music. Music, yeah. Editing. Yeah, screen wipes. Yeah. And uh, just, just flat out, just, just really good, good Just fun, yeah. Clone Wars does delve, like, the TV show. Uh, not the first one, the second one, three. Yeah, right? That's mm-hmm. what we're talking about. Uh, it does do a little, try to add some more character to the, the guys. Yeah. The, the, the fellas, which I really enjoy. And it works, yeah. It works. It it. It makes me like the clones. Yeah, and it it honestly makes me like like Anakin and Obi Wan so much more as characters. Yeah, definitely. Obi Wan, I never realized how much of a badass he actually He's was. Phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, but like, after watching all of Clone Wars and watching Episode Three again, mm-hmm. it hits you that much harder. Yeah, definitely. Because like all the like the dialogue about them being best friends mm-hmm. and almost like family. Yeah, it it definitely it shows in, in the TV show. I never did watch Rebels, but I need no. to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? To the the two D one, yeah, is amazing. That okay? It's so good. It if you don't like character development, if you don't like any of that, if you don't like anything that we just said, if you like action. If you like animation, 2D classic animation, watch the 2003 original Clone Wars. 2D, yeah, it's 2D the animated. same guy that did Samurai Jack. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I just accidentally <laughs> kicked Zach with my foot. Um, I mean, not with your <laughs> hand, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's fucking really cool. Like my mm-hmm. favorite sci-fi weapon mm-hmm. is the big stompy ship. Oh, that one. The one that, like, it floats yeah. over the battlefield and just goes... Kick-kum. And then it causes a little ripple Like a shockwave, yeah. Oh. That was bad. And you yeah. get to see Mace Windu do some cool shit. Uh, Padme is not a damsel in distress. And she more so is in the 2D animated. Well, no, she goes to the thing. Uh... Oh, wait, yeah, no. Yeah, no, that's more 3D. Yeah. Yeah. Her character gets developed a bit more. It's true. I mixed it up a little. Yeah. But uh, General Grievous. Oh, yeah. Isn't that his debut? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, voiced by John DiMaggio, mm-hmm. which, if you don't know who that is, Bender and also uh, Jake the Dog. Yeah. It's and great. other stuff. Yeah, a lot of other stuff. Other. Uh, but, like, General Grievous <laughs> in, the, in 2D. 3D, it's all right. You know, he's more like a... a classic sniveling mm-hmm. uh guy but in the classic 2d he's the most badass character yeah besides dirge oh shit yeah dirge oh uh, i forgot about dirge he was my favorite like bounty hunter mm. as a kid i remember watching uh every year we me my family and some of my dad's friends uh would go down to the beach mm-hmm and almost every year, without a doubt, we would watch Harry Potter, po- Harry Potter Puppet Pals, like a whole bunch of it. Amazing. Uh, just me and my brothers and uh, a friend, and uh, I, me and my brothers, the friend didn't really want to watch it, uh, would watch the classic 2003 Clone Wars, like the, yeah. the whole thing, just on YouTube, because, you know, YouTube didn't really have much copy protection back in the day. Yeah. We would just sit down on my dad's laptop, 
uh, have to like click out of all the <laughs> annotations mm-hmm. so you can't like so you can see the whole thing uh, and then just sit back and watch it. Yeah, it's wonderful. Good times. Yeah, love it. And that's times. that's how I. That was my favorite character. Dirge. Took it off Netflix. Took it off Netflix. Season seven though. Yeah, if you don't know, season seven of 3D Anime Clone Wars is happening. It's happening. I remember we were we were on our way down here to UAB. Uh, uh, Whoa, yeah. Before, we were going to orientation. Yeah. Uh, Not that we go to UAB or anything. No, no, no. We go to the school in the sky. Yeah. yeah. The literal school in the sky. What? Well, it's just like on a mountain. We, so, we like, it's, you know, it's like. What are you clouds. talking about? Yeah, that's where we have to go. Sky high? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. I, I, I remember it was, I, I, I was on probably Reddit, just scrolling through. And I saw a post that, that had the Clone Wars uh, helmet, the clone helmet, mm-hmm. and, uh, like, a date. And,. Zach, stop. That that stresses me out. <laughs> no, that's worse. <laughs> no. Please don't. Please don't. What uh. if I put it? <laughs> Actually, no. I'm not gonna say that out loud. But you know what I'm thinking. Yeah. Just like. <clears throat> uh, please All the way in there. But but I was like. Oh dang, that looks cool, but it looks fake as well. So I I passed it off. Mm-hmm. Kept scrolling, saw it again. Yeah. Kept scrolling, saw it a third time. I was like, hmm. Then I looked it up and it was confirmed. And I told you, and we both like just had a bro moment. Yeah. Bruh. Bruh. I uh scraped my hand up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, I scraped up my face. And this a one too. Bit. You did them both. Yeah, you did right. Not really in the kind of yeah, same spot. Yeah. What'd you? What'd you? Mirrored. What? What? I know? was making too many foods. <laughs> <laughs> I too many shark beat foods. My dick so goddamn hard with both your hands. <laughs> <laughs> the double twist and mm-hmm. no, I just I was just a dumbass and I tripped and. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I injured my face because well, I told you, you know, I was, I was yeah, shaving. Was shaving. Yeah. Well, you didn't tell me how. Yeah. So I was shaving, uh, but I learned a lesson: don't sh- like, don't get a razor, and your face is all like, it's got lotion, not really lotion. What is it called? Shaving cream, shaving uh-huh. gel. It's got that everywhere. It's like when you got the razors, it's like, whoosh, and like you go a little bit too fast, and you're at an angle, and your lip's sticking out, and you hit the the top of your lip. And you're just like, oh, dang, that hurts a little bit. And then you realize you're going to be bleeding for the next 30 minutes. Yikes. Yeah. I look, I'm an Egyptian pharaoh. <laughs> Here, put, put that back up. I'm going to put that, put as, that a, as a thumbnail. Yeah. Oh, that's me. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see it? Yeah. All right. It's a, it, it's a pretty good picture. Amazing. Yeah. You can see my cowboy boot bop p- 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 poster yeah. in the background. Yeah. Uh, what else were we going to talk about? We had another idea. We did. We did have a... Oh, yeah. Um, uh, Me, Simon, I did, did a little thing. Did oh, a yeah. Little, not really a social experiment. Just like... A uh, self-experiment. Spell self. Yeah, that. Uh, I realized Which that... Which I call masturbation. That too. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, I really do that in this household. I realized that I was spending a little bit too much, just a little bit too much time on social media. Mainly the fact that I was checking it, like, periodically throughout the day. Which, you know, is normal, but, like, to the to a fault, it gets bad. Hmm. When, like, anytime you have, like, a break or just, like, anything, you just check it. Or, like, mm-hmm. before bed. Uh, you, so I was like, you know what? None. Take it a break. I deleted everything, except for YouTube because I don't. That's not really a social media anymore. Mm-hmm. So it's like, okay, it's fine. Uh, Twitter, Reddit, mm-hmm. 
Tumblr. Wow. You still use Tumblr? I mean, just for memes, and I mean, that's really it. Uh, there's some artists that haven't moved from Tumblr to Twitter, so, like, you know, really like their stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the other social media. I forgot about. Instagram? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got all the, all the medias. Yeah, so I deleted all of them just for, uh, about a week. Uh, just, just cause I felt like I needed a break. Yeah. And here's the synopsis. First couple of days was really tough. Uh huh. Cause you got that impulse. You got that like it's, it's like you're addicted to anything. You're just like, oh dang, I want to do it. Yeah. Uh, but like when you don't have it, it's just this sort of need in your brain to sort of do it. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, you know, dopamine or whatever. Cause there's an absence. Yeah. Now and then. Uh, it, it was really bad the first day or so. Uh-huh. Like, the first day that I deleted everything wasn't that bad. Because, mm-hmm. like, you know, was, like, I already did it, and I like, didn't really you're, set like, in. like, focusing on not doing it. Yeah. But the second day, it was, I was, like, doing stuff like homework and stuff. And usually when I get bored with doing whatever, I'll, like, all right, whatever. I'll just check Twitter or, mm-hmm. like, uh, Reddit or whatever and read something. Uh, which really distracts me from my work. Yeah. So it's bad. You know, hopefully uh, I learned my lesson. I think I did. How many? How long did you do it? Uh, it started like Tuesday. <sighs> it did yesterday. Wow. Yeah, almost. So now you're saying all this stuff that I've already cycled through. Yeah. And you'll, you'll show me stuff. I'm like. Yeah. yeah. Already seen it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you know, I caught up just like five minutes ago, so now I'm good. And it was weird because, like, as soon as you said you quit, I started seeing all kinds of really funny shit that I would send you, yeah. but I knew it would have to wait like a week until you'd see it. But yeah. I wanted you to see it. Oh yeah, like just, immediately. Yeah, but I also didn't want to tempt you. Yeah, and like show I mean, you in person. Oh yeah. yeah. No, that's fine. The couple times that you showed me like two memes, I was like, oh yes. <laughs> really yeah it was also interesting because i realized sort of like that memes are kind of really important to our generation mm-hmm. because uh then just social media in general because it's a it's a great way for humor like yeah uh without it uh sometimes it's like oh, i'm not laughing for like hours and hours yeah with like memes, you're like, oh, let me just check my phone, and you you're laughing like a good bit. Yeah, and it must suck for like adults, and like just ge- people in general that just have to like go through their day, and they're just like mundane. They don't like the only time that they have like uh, enjoyment, like laughter, is when they're like with people that they can do that with. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's R slash yeah. deep. It's true. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Yeah. You got anything else? No. Uh, well, you know, uh, would you think of doing a social media break or just like, or is it like not really that much of a problem for you? Um, I probably could. Yeah. It's not a huge problem. Yeah. Uh, like I don't do it if I'm doing work or yeah. whatever. Um, and I like like the rare occasion that Julia posts art or whatever, or, or when you post art, like yeah. I like being able to see it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm cutting back on stuff like Snapchat. Yeah. Well, I just because I, I don't want to use Snapchat anymore. <laughs> yeah. Unless like it's something like, "Ooh, this is funny." Put on Snapchat for everyone to enjoy. Yeah. And then I get like five DMs, like, "Haha, lol." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um like the I do have to send very oh he's he's really climbing now. Yeah, he's, I gotta send very important pictures of my fella. Yeah. My snake. Yeah. Your pet. <laughs> my snake. <laughs> you just have a little man just like under your bed. Uh, I was like I was thinking, you know, people would think oh. I was <laughs> talking about my penis. Yeah. Uh my snake. Yeah. My ac- my actual snake. Yeah. 
Not like the reptile. Yeah. And he's climbing around right now. I can't believe he should. Yeah. That's so good. And he came out and he was looking at me like, eh, huh? Huh? Yeah. You're proud of me? You see that? Look at look what I did. I'm like, yeah, look at that. Look at you. I'll put it on the fridge. You made a new body. Yeah. <laughs> good job. What'd you want to do with the last one? What? Just threw it out. Yeah. Then, yeah. It's pretty cool though, because yeah. it was like perfect. Oh yeah! Like yeah. you could see like where his jaw was, and mm. like the eye hole, and yeah, the poop hole. And... <laughs> I always love looking at stuff like that, like cicada shit and uh... cicada shit. Yeah, what do they eat? What do bugs eat? Like I know a bunch of them eat plants, but the ones that don't, I don't know. What do they eat? Smaller bugs, probably. But what do the small bugs eat? Dirt. <laughs> I feel like there's plenty of that. Yeah. No worms eat dirt. Worms eat dirt. Yeah. Have you ever seen a worm mouth? No. You haven't? No. Never? Oh my god. Are they gross? Oh, hold up. So worm mouths? Yeah, you saw it, right? Yeah. Yeah. They don't need that though. They just eat right? They eat dirt? Yeah. Or they just eat I mean they don't eat the actual dirt, but like That's how they get through it with the mouth. Yeah, but that's a little unnecessary. <laughs> they look weaponized. Yeah, it's crazy. It reminds me of like, uh, I was watching, I was on YouTube last night, you know, as you do, you going down a YouTube rabbit hole watching weird videos. That's just normal for you. Yeah. Uh, and I stumbled upon this one from uh, a YouTube channel by the name of Water Beasts TM. Uh-huh. Or I think that's what it was called. Uh, I think it was like, like clips from a TV show. But it was this uh, thumbnail was like this weird like snake looking thing that looked like it ha- it was like coming out of this guy's forearm. Hell yeah. I was like, that looks disgusting, but I want to wa- know what it is. Right. So I clicked on it and I watched it. And it was apparently like this big ass leech oh. that grabs onto people and like sucks the blood out of them. I mean, that's what leeches do. Yeah, but it was like this long and looked like a snake. But the head it was, it was terrifying. It had like 50 different, like, rows of teeth. Just, like... You know what looks like a snake? What? That fella. Right in there. He looks like a snake. He looks like a worm. He does. Did you ever, like, play with worms as a kid? Kind of. Yeah? Like, when I was a little kid, I liked bugs. Yeah. Just, like, every kid likes bugs. Yeah. But then I hated bugs. Yeah. And I'm kind of okay with them. Yeah. Depends on the bug. Yeah. I like beetles a lot. Beetles are cool. Beetles are fucking cool. I don't like really the ones cool. that stink, though. I like spiders. Spiders Some are spiders. Right. Yeah. Big spiders. Yeah. I remember I used to be really into bugs. Like, I had, a, like, a little bug terrarium. But oh, that's cool. I didn't have any bugs in it yet. Like, it was new. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, I know what I'll do. I'll get some of these ants. Because I was visiting my, uh, my great-grandmother, uh, my dad's side. Uh... Okay, ant farms are actually pretty cool. They are cool, but I was a dumbass kid. Yeah. And I, and That's not what that was. Do you know what kind of ants they were? Fire Small ants. ones? Oh. So they all like crawled in there. I was like, sweet, I got ants in here. And then I had them in the, in the car on the way home. No. Yeah, and they got all over me. And no. I, was, I was like covered in ant bites. What is wrong with you? God. I was very young. Bad. I wonder if my dad remembers that. Terrariums are cool. They are. I like terrariums. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have one as a kid? No. 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 I just had that one and then we threw it out because it got all fiery. My mom had like plant ones. Yeah. 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 Did you ever want to get like like one of those like ant farms that you could see into? Not really. No. Ants. I mean, you know, Very until nice. I reached the age of reason. Yeah. Now I now I think it would be cool. Yeah. But if I did, I'd want a big one. Like like really big? Like a big like Yeah. Like it you can you can oh, speak. Floor to ceiling, bro. Like all the way. Yeah, no, like like uh I want it running. <laughs> you can speak. <laughs> I want it running through like all the corners of the of the of a room, so like mm-hmm. goes along the bottom and then the top, and it goes like out of the oh, room, yeah. like into another room. Yeah, like and a you full can like, expanse. yeah, and you can like walk through the rooms of the house and like see. And then I wanted to end, yeah, like, like right over my bed. So mm. like, if it ever breaks, 
I'm just, just gonna covered around in dirt and ants. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, get a head start. I I remember uh I remember seeing it's kind of no sorry that made me think of uh like the aquarium room. Mm -hmm. So like it's just like a bed, but all the walls are an aquarium. Yeah, and like you. And the ceiling too, so it's just like a full expanse of like just fish swimming around everywhere, and like you have like the water light. It's all like wavy mm -hmm. and weird. Like I like uh, aquarium inserts. Oh yeah, like, so you like inside, like when they're parts of uh, like weirdly shaped walls or like stairs or like yeah. drawers, beds, like that. Like if that corner thing that poked out, like if yeah. you stuck like an aquarium in the middle of that, mm. it would be cool. Yeah. I don't know, stuff like that. Or like, you know, like on the, on the little counter thing right there. Yeah. 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 We have, uh, my dad, uh, them got two fish. Yeah. Wait, two. Two fish. Isn't that that, uh, is that guy's name is Harvey Dent? He's, uh, he's a Batman villain, right? <laughs> yeah, two fish. <laughs> two fish. <laughs> he's got two fishes. No. Is he that, slaps Batman that, with the rapper. I was going to say, the rapper that is... <laughs> Definitely still alive, no matter what anybody says. Two fish. Yeah. We're talking about two packs. Two, two oh, pox. Tupac. Tupac. For some reason, I thought like 50 Cent. <laughs> what? I was like, how am I getting that from that? <laughs> no. Huh. 50 Cent is alive. Yeah. Well, you and there's me. no conspiracy about 50. Well, there might be, but I don't know. We should do a whole conspiracy episode. Uh, about Tupac? About Tupac. 50 Cent and Tupac. I don't know if there are any about 50 Cent, though. That's what I said. Oh. He's a normal guy. So I think that's true. <laughs> All right. On that note, I think we're getting in the podcast. Bye. Check out our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a little sh short, but you know. Whatever. Yeah. Got another podcast to record. Yeah, like a slightly better one that I'm definitely prepared for. Uh, thank you so much for listening. This has been Tea Time, uh, episode whatever. Who cares? You know what? You're thirty nine, right? Yeah, that one. Uh, you can check out. So next it'll be forty. That is usually how math works. Well, it's not really math. It's just counting. I think. Check out our other stuff. We do a Dungeons and Dragons podcast called Critical Miss. That's what we're recording in like right after we finish this. Not to date it or anything. You and can this... check you can check that out and all of our other things, like skits and bits, uh our live action comedy thing that we do on YouTube at, on the website. Uh, you can find links to everything that we do on our website, ijushows.com. Again, that's ijushows.com. <laughs> All right.